Hello and welcome to the 26th tutorial in the SFML 2.1 series. In this part we're going to be looking at adding a line. We'll be using the source code from the third tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. SFML doesn't have built-in functionality for drawing lines, but essentially you can simulate lines using the rectangle shape class and specify its dimension and create thickness for the line. So let's just go ahead and open up our project. First thing, let's create the line using the rectangle shape. So, actually, we'll do it up here. You want to create it every time if the while loop runs. So, we're going to do SF rectangle shape. Let's call it line. Then, we'll do line.set size. We'll do SF vector to F. And then, here, we're going to put 200 for the width and free for the height so it's just like a really thin line and uh, the next thing we have to do is draw it to our window so window.draw specify the line so it's called line now just run this game or application not really much of a game at the moment and there we go we have our line drawing this allows you to draw lines with thickness using the rectangle shape class you can draw lines without a thickness specified. I'm going to show you how to do that. So here, yeah, what we're going to do is SF vertex line, and it's going to be an array. I'm going to make it equal to semicolon there. It's going to be SF vertex, and basically we're just setting the two points up. You'll see when we run it what we mean by the two points, basically the edges, 25 and 10. Put SF vertex, SF vector 2F, 400 by 100. And it's moaning about something here. Oh, sorry, that needs to be a semicolon, not a, I mean a comma. And we need to remove the semicolon from here. My bad, the semicolon is at the end of this line, technically. And now we draw the line, but as this is a vertex, not a shape, we need to add a few extra parameters when drawing to the window. When drawing, we specify the vertex, which is what we created, the vertex count, and the primitive type. So what we're going to do is, instead of doing this, we do line, Actually, you know what? I'm going to rename this to this line to so, so it's easier. So we specify the vertex array. So we do line two, comma, the number of vertex is, so the number of vertices, so the starting point and the end point, or how many they are. So I'm going to put two. And then finally, we specify the type uh, of shape. So we're going to do SF colon colon lines and now if we run our application we have our line drawn and this is specified without the thickness so there's two methods to drawing lines you can either one just use the rectangle shape class and just provide a really uh, small thickness for it or you can use this way of creating a vertex array and then specifying the primitive type and the number of vertices that's it for this tutorial. In the next part of this series, we're going to be looking at setting the shape color. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at soundarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the requirements will be uh, for the source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.